Hi, it's Chester Togwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. And in this video, we're gonna look at a problem you might come across in Excel where it extends your selection instead of replacing your selection. Let me show you what I mean. If I click in a cell and then click in another cell, instead of replacing my selection, it extends it. Wherever I click, it just extends from the original cell that I selected. The other problem you may come across is where instead of extending the selection, it just adds to the selection. So wherever I click, instead of replacing which cell has been selected, it just adds to the cells that have been selected. If I click on one of the cells that were previously selected, it deselects it. So why has Excel ended up in this mode and how do we get out of it? Okay, let's go back to the first problem where Excel seems to want to extend our selection. So I click in a cell, click in another cell, it extends the selection. Well, that's because extend selection mode is on. If you look down at your status bar, you can see that extend selection is displayed there. If I hover over it, it gives me a clue as to what to do. Current selection will be extended to include newly selected cells and then in brackets F8. So at the top of my keyboard, if I press the F8 key, extend selection disappears from my status bar. And now when I click in a cell, it just replaces the selection. Now if F8 doesn't work on your keyboard, it may be that you need to hold down the Fn key on your keyboard as well as holding down F8. That's more likely on a laptop keyboard. So what about the other scenario where it just adds to the selection? So if I click in a cell and then click in another cell, it just adds that cell to the selection of cells. If I click on a selected cell, it deselects it. So this mode is called add or remove selection. And if I hover over that on the status bar, it gives me a clue as to what to do. If active cell is outside current selection, the new selection will be added. If active cell is inside current selection, the new selection will be removed. And then in bracket, shift F8. So shift F8 removes that mode. And then I click on a cell it replaces the selection. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully you found that useful. If you have, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.